Okay, hi everyone. So um, I'm coming back to my project because it is due and I made a basic sketch, a light sketch. Right, step one is a light sketch. Step two, I you know, you gotta make choices and sometimes you wanna take some stuff away. So it's really important to be able to walk away from something and be like, okay, now I know what I wanna do. And I really feel like I want to do some graffiti work that says kind of like AJR um, because I kind of feel like my piece after drawing all of the kids down here at the bottom it's kind of I'm thinking about you guys so I kind of want to make this piece more about my hope for AJR in 2021 and the world and um, yeah how we're going to unite and get through this. So I'm going to graffiti AJR right here. So what I'm doing is I'm making choices and I'm clarifying relationships in my pencil drawing. So I'm not 100% done. And if you guys can see, I have Da Font open right next to me. And you can see I'm just borrowing letters. And I'm kind of looking at a font as I draw. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. Okay, so um, when you are doing graffiti... What you want to do, and I'm going to keep the 2021 here, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make AJR a little bit more dominant. But what you want to do is you want to know your space. Like, okay, well, what is the space um, that I'm doing this graffiti in, right? And why do we have erasers so we can take things away? And remember, I've been talking to you some during office hours. You're like, oh my gosh, I have such a hard time not going dark. Remember, you want to go super, super light, right? So, like, you may want to work on that slogan. My slogan has to do with the school. Now, AJR, okay? I want all of the letters to kind of go to the middle. Like, I want the letters to also be kind of converging lines to the middle, to this focal point, this point of interest in the middle, so what I'm going to do is A-J-R, okay, and then what I'm doing is I'm kind of, I'm going to light, so I have my basic blocks, one, two, three, like those are my letters. Now I'm going to lighten them up just so I can be a little bit more free, right? And here we go. And I am just going to swing around and just start getting to work on this thing. So carving out the A, curvy line. Maybe I want the line to go that way. So I'm just kind of thinking about making decisions. And I'm looking at Dafon. I'm like, okay, so the letter's curvy. All right, so I'm going to go real light. You got to be free to let it dip lower. Be open to letting the letter go lower. Basic A. I may. I feel like I'm going too dark, but then I'm gonna go. That J looks weird. I wonder if it's gonna look like a J. Now I can switch it up a little so it looks more like a J. I might give it more of a. You don't have to stick with the font. So again, my box is right here, and I know the J needs to live inside of here. And maybe I want the J to kind of go under. like a J to me so I'm gonna cap that yes I just said on camera I'm gonna cap that and it's okay like bring it up 
you know? And you got to decide, okay, which letter is in the front, which letter is in the back. A, J, when does it end? And you're kind of thinking about that. Okay, so the R lives inside of here. Okay, and I forgot to go to the R. I'll go back to the R. Okay, there we go. Okay, so just so you guys know, I am looking at an image. I'm looking at the letters. I'm freestyling, but I'm also looking at letters. Okay, so this R kind of has like a cool hook. Now, I still have my Michigan down here, so I'm always thinking about the metaphors, right? And I don't want... to mess with that too much. Okay, I'm imagining the line behind the R goes down there. So, and I'm kind of losing some of the original drawing I made because my hand is moving so much. That's okay, like you can bring it back, right? This is just like a pencil underlay. Okay, so A, J, R, maybe I'm gonna give that more of a cap. Okay, now I wanted it to say 2020, 2021 underneath here, but I'm kind of losing some of that space, right? So I gotta clarify some re relationships. Maybe I want the 2020 to be a little bit lower. Or maybe I want the two to kind of like, of the backwards, Two and the 2020 to hook around. So, you know, I got the O here. Right. Um, and then I got the two here, but I kind of want the two to kind of have a similar movement. And I also want to, I'm thinking about creating that point of interest in the middle, you know, whatever that point of interest is gonna be, I want all my eyes going kind of like there. So I'm also thinking like when I bend my letters, I kind of want them going here because I got this going there, I got that going down there. So I'm bending up. Got another zero. Right, maybe I can do a pattern later of like, you know, dots and rhythms. And I don't know where the other two is on the 2020. I kind of lost it. But no, I got the 2021 right there. So I got the one right here. Maybe that's the answer is AJR. So how am I going to get the line of the bottom of the one to go that way? Right? So I'm thinking about that. So whatever your slogan is, you kind of want it to be short. Okay, now I want it to also, I want to create unity with this. So I'm going to kind of you know, have similar directions, right? So like the R is curving this way. You know, I have to make a choice. Which way is the one gonna bend, right? Now I'm looking here on defonts.com. I'm saying like, do they have numbers? I don't know if they have numbers. They don't have numbers for the, oh, they do. Look at that. So I could go ahead, I can zoom in, right? So you got numbers for your font too, right? So when you're not sure about a choice or about what to do, you know, look at a reference image. Okay, there's no like bottom of the one right here. 
but I gave the J a top. So, you know, you change the font how you want it. And my pencil is dead. So I'm getting another sharp pencil. Make sure you have all your pencils nearby. So 2021, kind of like clarifying things. We got the R going into the Michigan, um, which makes sense because my name is Rachel and I like Michigan. Okay, so maybe I'll have all of this underneath be blue. Like blue and green. So you're kind of like talking to yourself as you clarify things. So 2020, 2021, you know, so here's my two. My two is down here, right? So I can bring it back. And I'm drawing on the watercolor paper. Okay, I got this one character coming out. Right, this one AJR student. Maybe this one AJR student will be in the circle of the 20. Right, so I got the, like, one of the 20s right there. Right, and the O will be behind. 20, 20, and I lost the other two. Maybe, like, the R is part of the two. I don't know. Maybe I have another, like, behind here. I have another two. And, I mean, I don't know too much about graffiti, guys, but... From what the little I know, it's like, you know, what's cool about graffiti is you can break the rules and there's like a secret message and you make decisions and it's up to the viewer to crack the code, right? But as long as you make a decision, right? So if you look at the graffiti rubric, you get a grade for complexity and detail and challenge. You know, if you don't want your letters to be like all bent into each other, then, then don't do it. Okay, so AJR 2021, right? And then it says time to unite up there. Okay, so I'm gonna make that a separate video, right? But I will go ahead, to, before I leave the AJR 2021, I'm gonna add a fade in here. So as you can see, like this gives me ideas about a fade. So I'm just gonna add those lines in here and I'm gonna make that decision. So it goes down and then up, okay? And I'm just getting this right from the font and then there's a dot, right? And I'm like, well, what? You can start to remove lines. Remember in my other videos, project videos, I told you guys, drawing is also about taking away, right? So I don't need all these light lines anymore. I'm going to kind of like take away. Taking away. Take what you need, leave what you don't. Okay, that looks cool. I'm liking that. Okay, so you see, then I'll go to the J. Okay, what I got going on with the J? So I think it's all supposed to connect. So I have a curvy wave happening. And the dot. So this is a great example of getting ideas from the internet, but then making them your own. It seems like the top line is kind of... Okay, sorry, I wasn't talking. I'm just kind of zoning into my art. You guys should be okay with going 
in the art zone. Okay, taking away. See, I'm looking at all my sketches and I'm like confused. I'm like, what is going on? So I'm gonna take away. And I'm gonna make a strong decision. Right, and I'm literally looking right at the font and I'm getting ideas. I'm gonna add a circle there, even though it's not there. So you make changes. Right? And I'm like, okay, what is happening down here? Where do this, does this line, then you give yourself a heavier line weight when you know where something ends. Swing that around. Ooh, it's cool. Like this can kind of mirror the mitt in the Michigan. I like that. AJR, and then I got the one right here. What are they doing with the one? What are they doing with the one? Notice how it gets so white when I like use my eraser and this is a thick paper, you can do that, right? We're going light. I need some spots in there. Okay, looking at the two, getting another pencil, getting the blah blah blah. That too looks weird. I'm not sure how I feel about that. And then I got the O. And the O seems to be like a continuation. And it's got a bunch of lines. Okay, cleaning up the two. Because I got to get ready to paint on this, right? You know, and please use that big white eraser you got. That looks kind of cool when I straighten it. Okay. Following right on dafont.com, people. What are you using, Ms. Dafont.com. I just picked a font. Feeling like my font is going to be kind of like a blue, green sort of calm color. That's what I'm feeling. Like cool color scheme for the font. You got to be thinking about that. You got to be thinking about colors. Especially if the two is going to be part of the lake. This idea of calmness. Okay, adding a couple more dots in. 
maybe a stripe going across here maybe adding a fade right there i'm not sure okay but you know you got like this what we're doing we're clarifying relationships making things clear now you don't want a bunch of, like i'm predicting i'm gonna have an issue with all of this graphite um all of this like shading on the paper like i'm thinking i'm gonna have a problem later So, you know, you can focus on your project in different pieces. Now, I feel like I am not sure anymore, you know, what my focal point is, you know? So maybe it's, you know, maybe it's the Michigan. I don't know. Maybe, like, that's, like, where everything's going because the lines are kind of going there and this is going there. Sometimes things unintentionally happen, you know, in your art. Now, what is the message? You know, I'm saying like, you know, school and togetherness, you know, is an answer during times of COVID. I'm trying to communicate this idea of hope, but I'm trying to spread awareness too about like what kids need, right? And so like a truth that kids are feeling, so, you know, and it doesn't need to be negative, but kids more than anything, they need they need to be together. So I feel like I'm gonna have COVID on the outside and then I'm gonna have like floating computers, floating laptops on the inside. And dialogue, like people need to talk. I've completely lost my like United States metaphor in the background, but it's okay. Some metaphors can fade to the back. Okay, I'm gonna end this video. I think like, oh, I do need to finish the pattern for the 2020 over here though so 2020 so I gotta figure out that fade and I'm at the point where I get the font now and I feel like I don't want to look this line is a continuation maybe I'll put some dots there right and then this line will be a continuation there I'm kind of like thinking about different things. Now, here, I got to make a decision. Is this A in front of this part of the two? Yes. Maybe I can have something happen or maybe not. Maybe there's like a star here. Maybe I have twinkles. How about that, guys? If I had twinkles like going throughout, that would take a long time to draw. But you got to like pick something. You got to commit. Okay. 2020 backwards 2020 so this is my backwards america over here i'm gonna go back to that reference image uh, and i'm gonna clean that up in another in another video but here we go so that's 23 minutes of like making a decision doing the outline of the graffiti i'm gonna do the graffiti up there too i think